Agent Nation? My name, of course, is Agent Beamstar. Let's get right into the news. I'm getting better at this. Hey, I made a decision, ladies and gentlemen. I'm doing my hat reveal at a million subscribers. If you guys see me in real life, most of the time I'm not really wearing hats, but on YouTube, I literally wear hats all the time. But the channel's been doing fantastic, and I'm gonna try and continue to drop good content. If you guys are new to the channel, daily videos. Be sure to subscribe. And uh, let's get straight into it. For our first story of the day, producer from NBA 2K makes it public knowledge that they're dropping the ban hammer. Someone sends him a tweet on Twitter saying this. Y'all banning people for doing training drills? Question mark, at Ronnie, at Baluba, at C Hoops for life. Zach responded saying, how many drills he do on the sticks himself? Taking some shots, he's basically saying you're cheating, my guy. He followed up saying, ha, no share play here, lol. If he got banned, he was using some shady routes. So we just found out that apparently they can find out and they will also ban you if you're using quote unquote shady routes like doing share play to get someone else to grind your badges. They've also said in the past if you're grinding for 99 and your account keeps getting logged into by different IPs every time, one in Virginia and another one in California, they're gonna know you're cheating and you're grinding with another partner and they're gonna ban you. So I don't know how they know this stuff but apparently they're coming with the shits this year. For our second story of the day, ladies and gentlemen, I was told something at the NBA 2K event a couple weeks ago and it completely faded my memory. Didn't remember it. Until I saw this tweet Mike Wang put out saying this. There were zero gameplay changes in the patch. Hopefully they'll post the patch notes soon. First of all, yes, 2K, you should be posting patch notes every single time a new patch comes out so we know what we're downloading onto our damn consoles. Second of all, when I was talking to Mike Wang, this is what he told me. He said that they have patch notes every time a patch drops, but he's like, I don't know why it's never posted. I have no idea why nobody posts it, but they see and have the patch notes. So Because ever since NBA 2K came out and said that they patched Michael Jordan's tongue, they've been catching hella heat for the stuff they put in the patch notes, right? If you're gonna drop a patch, make it meaningful, right? I wanna do all this downloading, especially if I don't have unlimited internet. Well, I do, but I'm just saying some people don't. Depending on where you live and yeah. Anyway, 2K just, it's really simple, just, Put out the patch notes, my guys. For our third story of the day, this one is funny. A couple videos back, I was making a video talking about the NBA 2K19 glitch community. Of course, I had to revisit my guy Crashy Lion, who dropped his first 2K19 glitch video. We all know his glitches are fake, and I gave him a challenge in that video. Now, he hasn't responded to that challenge yet, but he started off his most recent video <laughs> saying this. Roll it. Hey, if you're a, uh, if you're that fat, Plate cleaner, fridge protector, overweight knockoff Bruno Mars fan. Get off my channel. Get out of here, bro. Get out of here. I don't want you on my channel, man. Get out of here, bro. Crashy, my guy. What? What is? Where is all this coming from? I thought we were friends, man. He was coming at me with the burners. <laughs> I don't know what I did to deserve this, but I was dying of laughter when I seen it. I thought y'all would find it funny. For our next story of the day, NBA 2K19 has been received, so far at least, pretty well. In terms of gameplay, right? Because there's a million problems when it comes to the game and the servers and people buy VC, they don't get their VC, they got an Xbox glitching, the game is blue screening, you play a game of my career, you don't get any progression. The list goes on and on of the problems people have been tweeting at me or at 2K support saying they've had with the game. On the my team side of things, I've heard a lot of complaints about contracts still being in the game. On the park side of things, there's two main issues. One is stealing and the other is shot contest. When it comes to steals, I think it's pretty simple. One is passing lane steals and the other one is reach and steal. Passing lane steals are fine. If you're clicking square in the passing lane, you should get the steal. What I don't agree with is you not clicking square and still getting the steal. That's stupid takes no skill. You should at least click square if you know the ball is coming, and if you can't do that, you don't deserve the steal. When it comes to poking the ball loose and reaching in, I think that should be nerfed. I think lockdown should have that clear advantage when it comes to poking the ball loose, and as it stands right now, I can log in with my sharpshooter or my playmaker, and I'll be really confident that I can get at least one or two steals in a park game. It's too overpowered, and everybody's holding L2 afraid to dribble because Everybody's getting six steals a game, spamming up the square button. All right, so when it comes to shot contests, that's where people have been getting into the debate. On Twitter and on YouTube, people have been talking over and over about the state of shot contests in NBA 2K19. Now, if you guys are casual players and you've never once played against a try-hard stretch big or shot creator, you don't even give your input on the conversation anymore. Because if the only people you're playing is other casual people on the rec 
or on my career or on the park, then you, you don't even, you haven't armed yourself with enough information to even make, to have a stand on the situation. I will tell you right now, go to the stage, go to the ante up and play against the biggest try hard stretch big in there. And if you do, if, if once you finish that game, you will come back hoping and praying they do something about shot contest. Cause those guys have already figured out how to abuse the system. No, there's a couple of things that changed about shot contest from last year to this year. And the main thing is that you have to do it manually this year, and we talked about that. So you no longer automatically just get to go there and contest a shot. Now you have to use your right stick, push it in the direction of the defender you're trying to contest, and it contests the shot. There's a couple problems with that. The main one for me being the delay. By the time I do the input and I push the right stick to close out, and the actual animation occurring for me to contest the shot, there's a delay. And while previously that delay didn't exist because it did it automatically, you didn't have to do an input, now there's a delay. Oh my goodness, are the stretch bigs and the shot creators eating off that delay. And on top of that, difficult shots, I, honestly, I think more than anything, difficult shots might be the best badge in NBA 2K19. And previously, I think Limitless Range held the throne for a very long time. I'd even put Pick and Roll Maestro in that conversation. But this year, difficult shots is on some nut shit for shot creators. And I've just made a shot creator. I have two shot creators now, actually, so I know more than anyone. But there's an alternative, right? You can click triangle to jump. And I think that cuts away some of the delay and even adds some more contests because now you're getting off the ground and gaining some height on your contest. The only problem with clicking triangle is if you guess wrong, you're burnt. They get an open shot. Listen, if you're playing on my team and you click triangle on a stretch big, you're off my team. Those are just the rules. Why would you do that? Right? I get it, some people made a minimum wingspan, or you made a minimum wingspan, your player is six foot three, of course it's not gonna. So you're telling me you want your stretch big to shoot over every single six foot three guy? Just think about the possible implications of what you're saying right now. I don't, the thing is, is I don't know how to solve the problem. I think we all agree contested shots should not be hitting, period. But you should also have to play defense to contest a shot, so I agree with a manual contest. I do not think it should be automatic. I think there needs to be more importance more significance in the shot contest. Pure stretch bigs and pure sharps benefit the most of any build from this because they have that pure perfect green window. And if you're a good shooter, you can hit that really consistently. I was watching some videos on YouTube, some people going back and forth on Twitter. Usually the first thing people would say to her butt, like, oh, maybe you just suck at the game. Maybe you need to get better. Maybe you need to play a competitive guy. Cause you think when you play casual guys, it's fine, right? They don't know how to abuse it. Go play the guys in the stage. Just try it. Believe me, you're gonna be begging for reform. Anyway, uh, until this problem is solved, I'm probably gonna end up using my sharp more and my shot creator more, because I could be the guy that sits here and complains about it when it happens to me, or I could just be the guy doing it to everybody else so I don't have to complain. That's the state of the game right now. I think those are the only two problems. In terms of gameplay, it is a relief to not have to deal with blow bys and snatchbacks every two seconds. I think this year it takes more skill to play the game. And I haven't even gotten on Pro-Am yet, so I'm, I'm so excited to do that. There's a lot 2K19 did right this year, and there's a lot they did wrong, but I think more than anything, I'm, I'm, I feel refreshed that I no longer have to play 2K18, and I'm having fun playing 2K again. So I'm curious how Mike Wang and them are gonna handle this situation. I think stealing is fine, whatever. Maybe you can nerf the poking the ball, but even if he doesn't, I can live with it. The shot contest though, I think is a more egregious problem that is, I think at some point gonna have to be attacked, but even if it's not, I'm gonna have to learn to play with it, which is why I have the exact builds that would do the most damage if it's not attacked. Anyway, I'm gonna leave it on that note. If you guys enjoyed the video, drop a like, subscribe to the channel, watch these two videos here if you haven't already, and I'm gonna catch you guys in the next one. I'm out. Peace.